What's up guys? Welcome back to Nick's Fishing. Now before I get into today's video, I just gotta say thank you so much for 6,500 subscribers. That means the world to me guys. I really could not do it without you, so just thank you for that. And if you're not one of the 6,500 subscribers and you're new to my channel, go down there and smash the subscribe button. Let's try to get to 7,000. That's my newest goal, trying to get to 7,000 subscribers. But anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into today's video. So me and Bo, we have several ponds that we go to together and fish at, but there's this one pond in particular where we're like, if we wanna catch some fish and we wanna catch some big fish, this is where we go. And recently we've made three trips there and I filmed all of them, but they were just kind of mediocre other than one day. So I'm just gonna put those all into one video. So basically I'm gonna set the scene for you. The spawn is over where we live, so all these fish the females have laid all their eggs and now they're just like, I mean, they're just doing their own thing. They're just super skinny and they're starting to feed back up and they're actually getting pretty aggressive. So in the first video, I actually had the chest cam on and I was just throwing a rattle trap. I was fishing off the bank, just covering water. And it was an all right day. We had one super cool fish catch. So stay tuned for that. So let's just get into these few clips and then I'll talk about the next day that we went there. What's up guys, welcome back to Nick's Fishing. Today we're out at a pond that I filmed um, a couple kayak fishing videos. We actually did, I think Cousin vs. Cousin fish off three out here. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This bass is going, I got one. Ah, he's small, you gotta be kidding me. Um, as you guys can tell, this pond is pretty dang fire. Basically, I'm out here with Bo just bank fishing it today because it was late and we didn't really have much time to um, kayak fish. Anyways, we were talking to the pond owner at the beginning, so I couldn't exactly film, but I caught a fish about this size. Then Bo caught about a two and a half pounder, and then I caught like a three and a half pounder probably. He would have been way bigger, but he was super skinny. He was a post spawner. But um, Bo is throwing the jig, and I am throwing the rattle trap, just walking down the bank. And I think we are gonna get on some more fish tonight. It is, um, it's about 7.50 right now. We've probably got, I don't know, 40 more minutes to fish, so. If I could just get this hook out, I can, okay. There he is. This is the smallest one of the day for sure, but it is another fish. I'm gonna come and release him over here. But I'm basically just covering a ton of water with this rattle trap. The rattle trap's a pretty good bait at this pond usually, so I figured I'd throw it today. Since Bo's throwing a bite and bait, that switches it up. But as you saw, there was a fish busting right on this bank. And that's the reason I'm fishing at this bank. It is loaded with bluegills. So I figured this would be the perfect place to throw a rattle trap. It's also really grassy, which kind of stinks because like as you're seeing now, I gotta keep picking grass off my bait, but the fish are here, so I'm gonna keep fishing it. There was one starting right in front of me, but I don't know, he's probably got spooked after I caught that one, so we're just gonna keep throwing around, going down as far as we can. I'm not sure if we can go all the way around the pond on this side or not, but we're just gonna walk this way as far as we can and just keep covering water, guys. So. Stay tuned, we know there's big fish in here, so that's what we're gonna try to catch. Big fish and a lot of fish, so let's see if we can make it happen. Didn't really see much of the fight there, but I was making, I was just looking at my battery, and as I was doing that, I got picked up by this fish. He just kinda side swiped it, but Still hooking him good. These hooks are pretty good on rattle traps. So that's fish number four for me. That's pretty good already. Being how we've only been fishing for like 15 minutes, maybe 20. That one's more out in the middle. It seems like the small ones are all I'm getting on this bank. So maybe the bank that Bo's on will be better for quality. But Come on, I can get out here. Oh, 
It is underwater right here. What if you hook a giant right here, dude? This would be epic. I got one. He might be good. Ah, oh, he came off. He wasn't good. <laughs> Still in my spot. Look how far I can get. I got another one, dude. They're stacked right here. I don't know if he got it good. Dude, he ain't bad. Going for him, guys. This is awesome footage, man. <laughs> dude, it gets deeper. I don't know, like two pounds, three pounds. We're going for him. We're going for him. I'm in knee deep, guys, and I got a fish. Dude, he's not even big at all. Well, well he ain't bad. God, he's, he's better than he looked. He's a solid two-pounder, guys. Pulled him through all this muck. I'm knee deep. God. Did not think I was going to be fishing in this crap today. Got it out, guys. Finally. I'm going to have to dag on throwing, but that is... It's a long fish. He's still got a bloody tail from the post spawn. Close to two. Um, sorry about this if you love animals, but... <laughs> He's back. He barely made it. I, I had to throw him that hard or else he wouldn't have survived. Well, I'm right there on the rattle trap again. That's fish number five. Biggest one that I've got on camera. Not near as big as the one I caught earlier, but still, this is awesome. Both cast in at this spot, I've got bits, so hopefully I can cast back in there and get another one. Okay guys, so not an incredible day. Unfortunately, I didn't get the first two fish catches on film, but I mean, hey, you get the gist of it. I caught a few fish on the rattle trap. Pretty cool day. But anyways, the second day, I thought, I'm gonna try out a lure I've never used before. Now here recently, whenever I did that huge tackle unboxing, I actually got some chatterbaits. And I mean, I'm not a chatterbait fisherman by any means. I just kind of wanted to get into it because I've seen YouTubers catch huge fish on chatterbaits. And even like this time of the year, I've seen them catch huge fish. So this right here, it's made by like fish head or something. It's a normal chatterbait, but it's got this blade on the back. Now I have been using the same chatterbait just in a white pattern out at the lake that I've been fishing at lately and I've had some success on it. It's been one of my favorite baits. So I knew this was a decent bait, this chatterbait with a blade on the back of it. But the pond that me and Bo fish at that I'm showing you in today's video, it's not very murky. I mean it's not the clearest water but it's not very murky either. So it's a, it's a green pumpkin pattern I believe is what they call this. It's got some orange and then just some green on the front. And then I ended up putting this paddle tail swim bait on the back. So I mean, the chatterbait blade helps it stand out in the water since it's kind of stained, but it's not just gonna be like sticking out like a sore thumb, like white would be in this water. So now for the bad part, I was not filming on this day. We took some pictures, but all I can do is tell you about the experience because I didn't have the camera set up. It was just kind of a relaxed day. I wanted to try out this chatterbait. So um, I ended up catching two fish right off the bat on its small ones but then i was going down the bank and i hook into a fish guys on the chatterbait the second i hooked into it i was like oh my gosh this fish is huge then the sucker's head comes up and this is when i mean you can ask Bo if you really want to know i started freaking out i was like oh my gosh i literally thought it was a seven eight pounder and here in a minute you'll understand why i thought he was so big so he jumped a couple times and I was just in shock because I could see he had like huge eyeballs. Like he had the frame of a giant fish. Well, get him up beside the boat, lift him up. It was so skinny, guys. So skinny because the spawn is done. I mean, this was obviously a huge female and it was still a huge fish, but the spawn was over. So, I mean, 
The fish only ended up weighing right under four and a half pounds. I'm gonna put a couple pictures on the screen for you right now. The only problem is he's just super long and skinny instead of being like long and fat. But listen to this guys, I ended up measuring this fish and he was 23 inches long. I'm gonna show you a picture from Google right fast. A 23 inch bass is supposed to weigh over seven pounds. So that's why I was freaking out. That should have been a seven pound fish. If I would have caught it a month or two months ago, probably would have had one of the biggest fish of my life. But oh well, it's all good. This day still gets even better. So I ended up putting the chatterbait down because my cousin Bo was fishing like off this island and there was fish stirring everywhere. Like they were schooling, chasing bait. And honestly, I thought it might have even been crappie. So I ended up putting on this little paddle tail swim bait, the same thing that was a trailer on my chatterbait, but ended up just putting it on this jig head because I knew that a big crappie would also eat this along with a bass. Anyways, I get up side boat, first cast, start reeling it, start reeling it. And then I picked up my paddle and paddled a couple of times. So as I was paddling, obviously my bait's just sinking down to the bottom. Well, I put my paddle down, picked up my rod, I just big one again. I just felt weight. I was like, oh my gosh, but what is going on? And I got him in the boat. Here's the picture of the fish right here. He was 3.7, so like seven tenths of a pound, like almost a four pounder. So what an incredible day that was, guys. Literally, that's the two biggest fish I've caught all year and I wasn't even filming. That really stinks, but you guys understand it seems like whenever you don't bring a scale or whenever you're not filming that's whenever you end up catching the biggest fish but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the story of those fish and you got to see the pictures so hopefully you like this but the video is not over because we still have more footage from there because about a week later or a few days later we ended up going back to the same pond once again and let me think i was throwing i started off with a chatterbait again because i was thinking the chatterbait was going to be the deal because I caught a big one on it and I was just like, the chatterbait's awesome. So I'm going to shoot you into that footage from that day. I didn't throw the chatterbait the whole day, but we caught a few fish. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Shoot. I got, oh, that's a fish. That ain't grass. Fish number one on the chatterbait. He's barely hooked. God, he's barely hooked. Got him. Got him. So, yeah, golly, that I think I went through grass and then this fish got it. Cause there's grass all over it, and I felt some before the bite. There goes number one. Number two, guys, on the Texas rig Senka. It's super calm over here. There's no wind, so I figured if I could just flip around, that might be a way to get another bite. And there it is. About a one pound, or maybe not even a pound. Oh! Oh my gosh. Guys, there's literally bubbles right there. What the heck? That was not a stick. I did not lift a stick up. That was 100% a fish. I don't know what happened though. They took my worm. Didn't even bend the hook either. I was thinking that's what had happened. I was like, God dang it. The hook finally cost me a fish. But I don't know what happened there. Oh, there we go. He's running at me. I can't tell how big it is. 
tiny bass. There we go. Just barely got him hooked, guys. There it is, he's off. Trying to grab him. Tiny bass. I just switched up to this tiny little chrome crankbait because these fish are schooling and I've never really tried anything like this out here. I figured maybe I could just trigger some kind of reaction strike. And finally over here by this dock where they're off busting, I got a little one. I mean, he just swiped at it though. I, I barely got him hooked, so maybe the next one will eat it better than him. Okay guys, so this wasn't my normal video because it was from three different days, but I really do hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry that you didn't get to see the fish catches of that four pounder and the three pounder, but if you did enjoy like the story of it, let me know. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please go down and drop a comment and a like. That would help me out a ton. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my channel. We're on the road to 7K, so maybe we can get there soon. Other than that, guys, I will just see y'all in the next video. Bye.